Alright guys, it is the start of a comeback. Maybe Hero was finally able to put a stop to JYP's killing spree. JYP, he got four wins for Evil Genius. The TL Ace player, on the other hand, finally defeating him in a Protoss vs. Protoss match. Now we are on heavy rain. Hero in his second match. Well, basically in his third match, but he got eliminated in the first one, was revived as the Ace player. So if you saw one, it, yeah, it's the new Hero. It's Hero 2.0, the second game for him. And he's going up against another Protoss player. And yeah, Jadong was expected by a lot of people to be the next player for EG, but it is in control. In control going up against Hero, against the Korean player. We're currently on the North American server here, so let's see what in control can do. And it's going to be a very interesting game here. Hero with the yeah, gateway a little bit faster than his opponent, drops it at 11, whereas we see in control with the gateway at 12, so a bit faster here. And let's see what exactly Hero can do against the Juff. So... I'm really curious to see what I mean. Really curious to see what the EG player can do here because I did not expect to see him at all. So far, he acted as the captain for his team and was announcing the new players. We had the Muslim, Suppy, and a few others already in the lobby. And I really expected that Jado might be the next player that we might Suppy, for example. I never really considered that In Control would step onto the plate and say like, "All right, I'm going to pull a Choya right now. I'm going to play, and I'm not going to coach here." That's one of the things that Choya did a couple of times in the past. Usually for Choya, it backfired. Let's see if InControl is able to make that work. EG is still in a very comfortable position here, so don't get me wrong. But yeah, I really want to see what InControl is able to do against Hero right now. Because of course, if you see those names, the one huge favorite that everybody will point out is of course the Korean player. There are no question about that. But it's a PvP on the other hand, and if you have a good build, then you can take down an opponent. If for example the map is really to your liking and you say, yes, I have a great build for Heavy Rain and I can take down any Protoss player here and he's not expecting what I'm going to do, then why not? Let's just go for it. 2-2, two 4-in two, in control, whereas on the other hand, in gas of course, we have a 3-2. and two. And we have once more this fast Stargate before Mothership Core, before Warpgate Research. He drops the Stargate. This time it's not proxied, but it's basically the same build just without the proxy location that we saw Hero use already against JYP in the match before. At the bottom right, on the other hand, we have In Control also with a bit of scouting in his own main base, sending a probe out onto the map. And he goes straight for the Mothership Core and the Stalker, uses the Chrono Boost for the Cybernetics Core Warpgate Research here and has his probe just basically roaming the map a little bit and trying to find out if there is another proxy built by his opponent. Of course he was able to observe the last game, had a look at that and uh, yeah, well, let's see. To the top left we have that Phoenix being built right now. This time we don't see an Oracle by Hero. It's that fast, fast Stargate but it's this time with a little bit of a different emphasis here going more for the Stargate, uh, for the Phoenix and less for the um, yeah, Oracle. Whereas in control is starting his own Stargate just a little bit later than his opponent. We have the Mothership Core being really angry at the rocks, probably uh, for some kind of reason, not really a Dustin Bowler fan, and being like, yeah, I'm gonna take you down. Rocks can't fight back, but guess what? The Stalker can. And uh, killing not only the shields of the Mothership Core, but also relieving it of uh, about 50 hit points here. Harvest account is 22 to 23, so pretty much uh, very much the same. With the Phoenix already out on the map, we have now a situation where the fast Phoenix is going to be able to get some scouting information done, but not much more than that. The problem for in control is that if Hero keeps the Phoenix production up, then he will always be one Phoenix ahead of his opponent. So with a faster Stargate, that's something that he can make work here. But yeah. Oh, there's actually two of them already. Wow, I actually missed one. Like, my bad. How did that happen? Like, he uh, duplicated one of those. Yeah, it's just trying to fly around a little bit. But if you look at the Phoenix numbers, it's three against one. And he tries to go for the Mothership Core there. Might be able to snipe that, actually. Photon Overcharge already used. Yeah, it's gonna save both of the Phoenixes for now. But the third Phoenix is gonna join his two comrades in arms very soon. And then we might see a kill on the occasional probe. Or maybe even the Mothership Core. That probe over here, on the other hand, is pretty sneaky. Is it gonna be found? It doesn't really look like it because that Stalker is just on patrol here. He assumes that there's nothing in there. And he sees the probe in the end. It's finally being spotted. And that might trigger another scout here at the bottom. If he doesn't see that, though, it might really take down a lot of harvesters later once that natural is in position. So, for now, oops, Hero with a bit of a lag here. That doesn't look too good. Okay. 
Thank God. For a second I got worried that he would really drop. I don't think that uh, EG would have taken a death win here, but I am pretty sure they could have, according to the rules. So, yeah, the pile at the top left that I mentioned a bit earlier was not spotted. He, oh, actually he sends out the Stalker after all. Was like, yeah, something's weird with this probe. I'm gonna double check. And he did very good at that. Sees it. And now it's the Phoenix fights. Once they are engaged, you cannot stop. But it's four against four now. Well, four against five with this one uh, coming over. So he doesn't really want to fight just yet. But it's both of them just building Phoenixes, Phoenixes, and Phoenixes. The warp, it happened. And uh, Pylon, therefore, not only saved, but also Lone Zealot running into the main base a little bit too over Zealot. He turns around and is like, hey, guys, I thought you were coming. And both of them were like, dude, like, scratch that. I'm not going to run up a choke point. Like, are you crazy? There could be all kinds of shit up there. And he's like, well, no, I'm going to die. And they're like, duh, don't be easy. I have still one hit point left. But that's not going to help them too much against all of those Phoenixes that suddenly move in. And in control, move, warp in additional units they are all gonna die before the army is going to arrive here and that puts hero in terms of army supply on even uh, yeah, even numbers with his opponent phoenixes versus phoenixes engaging here we have still a couple of units down there at the bottom and well right now i would be very careful if i was in control because with another round of warp ins hero will definitely take the lead in the army count we have eight against six phoenixes already so he's going to win that air battle quite easily and he can always chase down these units and it looks a little bit like that's exactly what's going to happen there if he gets a hold of those uh, stalkers with the phoenixes being too far away then he will lose all of them but we have in control with another pilot over to the right side and he used it for additional stalker warp ins the rest of the phoenixes is already moving in as well 28 against 24 harvesters so the economy a little bit better for hero and he's very nicely set up to saturate that natural once that it's being completed we do not see another base for in control he doesn't try to go for that he wants to go for the one base play here moving in already with the rest of his units being spotted by the zealot but we have all of those phoenixes going down into the main base and this is going to be a slaughter he's going to kill every single harvester here and could take down that mothership core as well. He retreats though since the Photonova charge was dropped. And of course to the top left we have the same thing going on for in control. Photonova charge against the Phoenixes. But in control moves in and he actually has a pretty decent chance of taking this army out for now. Looking at the army supply once again. We have in control in a favorable position with 34 against 26. That Nexus will have to be cancelled. And the Phoenixes for Hero finally arriving back in the main base. It's going to be very important for him to complete that Dark Shrine in time. Because that will help him to defend against this but it's also something that in control by now knows and he can just go in and try to snipe that that dark shrine is not done yet and if he snipes it that's all that he needs to do bam dark shrine is gone no dts any longer and he already built an oracle all the way back at home so suddenly in control in a position where he could actually take this game but hero of course isn't done just yet he still has enough units and it's just this dangerous dance between the phoenixes and the stalker support on the ground 12 stalks against four and those stalkers are super important but nice lifts here so far by hero he's going up against his opponent uh, his opponent's phoenixes as we speak the photon overcharge still doing damage still keeping in control at bay and he loses reinforcements walking up that ramp great job by hero picking those off and suddenly in control finds himself in a dire situation losing every single air unit that he has the phoenixes are gone the massive lifts yeah, Hero definitely lifts. In control probably does as well, but Hero just a little bit stronger at that point. Hero takes the game, and therefore we have a 4-2 now. EG versus TL, and Evil Geniuses, they have to send out their third player now, facing the ace player of Team Liquid, facing Hero.